All right, Tom Finian. Hey guys, here's a quick review of what we did yesterday. So you know you have six strings. The first string is your high E, and if you leap up to the double dot, the twelfth fret, you get your octave. So that's the same note in a higher position. I'm going to connect those two notes using the major scale, and the major scale uses even numbers at the outset, open two four, and then odd numbers all the way up five seven nine eleven until you get to twelve, which is the octave, like so. descend as well. And the two articulations I gave you was doubling each note. You can continue to use downstrokes um, like so. And then work your way down. And then we'll do the on off, which is the same rhythm, but for every pulse you follow it by the open string yet again, like this. And this pattern works on any of the six strings, so especially you want to do it on the low E string because that's the same exact notes. So that leads me to the next point. The two theoretical takeaways from this scale are that a major scale is an eight um, note series, we call them scale degrees, punctuated by a pair of half steps. Those occur between the third and fourth note of the scale and the seventh and the eighth. So when you're playing you'll notice if you count, and you should do counting sometimes, one, two, three, four, three to four, that's your first half step. Not to be confused with the fret numbers. These are scale degrees, the numbers of the, of the scale tones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's your other one, seven to eight. So major scale is defined by those two half step junctures, three to four and seven to eight. Further, you can think about the actual notes of the scale. So E major is a big key for guitarists. It has a total of four sharps. Most keys we play in tend to have sharps rather than flats. We'll get into that later. Um, it has four sharps total, so you can use the diagram I gave you that says the notes right on there. But you start with E, then you have F sharp. I call this play and say, you want to do this uh, every day. G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. In reverse, it's much harder. Try to master it ascending, and then you can do it in reverse order. And then double that on the low E string, since it's the same notes, and especially for you, Tom, it'll be reinforcing since you know those notes already. Um, okay, and then I gave you some simple pentatonic scales, one pattern to play two major scales, E and A. And the pattern goes like this, open, two, four, two, four, two. Try to move your hand as little as possible, you shouldn't be shaking left to right, it should be in one position. And you just shift down to the A string and repeat it, open, two, four, two, four, two. Then we did the minor pentatonics, which are a slightly different pattern. Open three, open two, open two, like so in E. And you always want to come back down. In the same way, you can just shift it to the A string. Same pattern. That's it, guys. That's just a warm-up. Have fun.